Give us a call this morning. Love to hear from you on BBC WM. Now, over the last few months, we've been covering the news about the government plans to build a high-speed rail line right through the heart of the West Midlands. High Speed 2 will link up the West Midlands to London. Trains will travel at speeds of up to 250 miles an hour. It'll cut journey time from the capital to the second city to just 46 minutes. But all of that, of course, comes at a cost. Millions, if not billions of pounds, hundreds of homes will be decimated, not to mention, of course, miles of countryside, which will have to be churned up to make a way for the construction of the new line. One local woman who's objecting to the plant is letting her feet do the talking. Lizzie Williams plans to walk the proposed route. She started yesterday. She joins me now before she sets off on day two of her trek. Uh, Morning, Lizzie. Good morning. So where do you start from yesterday? Um, I started from just off um, north of Litchfield, by the Litchfield Golf and Country Club, so on the A515, which is exactly where the, the proposal ends at the moment. Mm-hmm. And I walked down through Kerbera, um, round, down to Street Hay and back into Litchfield. And I'm, go- I'm just I'm two minutes out of Litchfield Centre at the moment, ready to start again, um, carry on walking south towards Hinch. Why are you doing this, Lizzie? Um, I want to raise public awareness of this proposal because, uh, I mean, on my background is project management and, I, and I'm, I'm not daft, you know, I've looked at all these proposals and I'm sorry, that they just do not stack up. They don't stack up financially, economically, sustainably, environmentally or anything. It's been a rush job putting this proposal together by the previous Labour government and they've made a complete, absolute rubbish job of it. And it, what we're asking to sacrifice is huge, huge, 100 metre wide minimum waves of our countryside, mainly Greenfield, all the way from London to Birmingham. There are much better, more effective ways of improving our rail in this country and getting up to better speeds, perhaps not 250. Mm. See, a lot of people who will be listening to this, Lizzie, will think this is a classic not in my backyard uh, attitude, isn't it? I think mm-hmm. business agrees. I think everyone, you know, we spoke to, other, other than the residents who will be affected by this, pretty much everyone unilaterally thinks that high-speed rail is a good idea, that, uh, that that we need this better transport infrastructure. And if you're going to build a railway line like this and you ne- and everyone accepts that we that we need this, then, then inev- the inevitable cost of that is that, yes, the line will have to be built and it will be built through some farms and fields and some people's back gardens and you know that's that's life lizzie isn't it um i disagree i mean if we're if we're if i'm a nimby because it doesn't affect my home deliberately um everyone in this country is an nimby because the countryside is all of our backyards the other thing is with the business assumptions that's been carried out or, or the proposal is based on they're based on pure fantasy we have a proven case on hs1 in kent where the economic benefits that they projected have not been sustained and it's lose it's lost us billions and billions of pounds um the other thing is on the economic assumptions they have these economic gains on 1100 people on 30 trains an hour that's an awful lot of people if, if they can meet those passenger forecasts mm. they have not taken into account the impact on existing businesses in between the two stations they haven't taken into account loss of tourism loss of farming and agriculture they haven't taken into the, into account the fact that every single business that is affected directly by the route will not be compensated all they will get is land value so where are you walking to today is he I'm walking from Litchfield Trent Valley Station down to Hints, which is a small village off the A5 near Packington Moor. So uh, if people uh, see you out and about today, they can uh, make their feelings felt and uh, and uh, I, I suppose you'll take you'll take their message with you, will you? Absolutely. What, what we're asking people to do is to look at the proposal and understand how much it's going to cost each one of us, not just financially, but the countryside as well. But it will cost us all. And every penny we spend on this will come out of existing budgets and will affect ordinary rail users and everybody else. Right, uh, safe journey today. At least the weather looks good for you, so enjoy it, won't you? Thanks very Thank much for coming on. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Lizzie Williams walking the proposed high-speed two route. Uh, she's uh, heading out of Litchfield toward Hint today, so if you see her... Give her a wave, uh, won't you? And uh, obviously she feels, as you've heard there, in a tone of voice, very strongly about it, very passionate about it. And that's what we like West Midlands people to be, don't we? Uh, Whether we agree with you or not, whether you agree with us or not, uh, it's great having the conversation.